हे ऑल वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब क्लास आई एम मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर वी आर ऑन पेज ऑफ सी सी एन ए कोर्स एंड इन दिस प्ले लिस्ट आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड फाइव डिफरेंट क्लासेज आर फाइव डिफरेंट वीडियोज एंड इन प्रीवियस क्लास यू डिस्कस अबाउट वट इज ओ एस आई मॉडल एंड हाउ मेनी लेयर्स आर अवेलेबल इन द ओ एस आई मॉडल सो एज यू नो दैट इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू नो इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड मैनेज द नेटवर्क इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर you want to configure the all network devices based on cisco or another based uh, vendor based devices so it's mandatory for everyone you must need to know about the basic of networking right like the basic of networking you should know about the components of network uh, components that required to establish network what are the devices that mandatory to set up our network infrastructure like as a lan devices man devices and which devices must required to set up our wide area network so we are on same page this is another class of ccna and in this class i'm going to guide you about uh, the important network devices and components will will give you the live practical of each and every devices and components because as we discussed in teach me cloud youtube channel will provide will always try to give you 100% live practical so that's why i have already purchased multiple network devices like like as a switches router components like console cable network cable rj45 network tester uh, and uh, crimping tools as well so so with the help of practical with the help of these component and devices i'll show you the each and every step like as how to create cable how to connect our switch to machine with the help of putty terminal to configure the uh, the operating system of our uh, uh, switches and router so let's move ourselves and try to understand about what are the important components that help us to set up our network infrastructure so before that if you are new on my youtube channel if you are watching my video first time do subscribe because teach me cloud is a single technical training based youtube channel that give you 100% live practical based video without skip any step so right now we are on uh, you can say that uh, uh, on our white board so here we are trying to understand about network devices right and components as a ccna engineer as a cisco certified network engineer it's our responsibility we must need to know about the important component and devices that required to set up our network infrastructure so what i am going to do i am just going to categorize in two different part one is network devices and uh, another is related to network components we should know about how many network devices and how many components are available so let me help you to understand let's start from the very basic like the first and really important part i am going to start from modem then we'll discuss about access point right wifi router which is considered as a wifi router number 3 hub number 4 switch we'll discuss about the types of switches as well like how many types of switches are available then we'll discuss about router yes i'm talking about the cisco router we'll also talk about the uh, another devices like as a gateway about the firewall right the work of checkpoint so these all are the important network devices that we are going to cover in our ccna training so these all are the devices and now let's talk about the components so in case of components multiple components are available like i'm going to start from the very basic like uh, uh, nic card you can also say that network adapter number second rj45 and uh, rj11 number third i o ports right you should know about the use cases of i o ports number next patch panel right you need to know about how it's look like why we need to use why we need to involve patch panel in case of our day to day activity it's mandatory for us we must need to know about the use cases of patch panel as well number next you also need to know about uh, the other component like as a network tester yes i'm talking about network tester number next crimping tool 
that help us to create cable. Next, network cable. The another important part number eight, uh, console cable. Right. So these all are the important component and uh, devices required to establish our network infrastructure. Because see, I know we are trying to understand about to handle large network infrastructure, right? Because we our responsibility as per the content of CCNA, we should know about how to handle, how to configure the Cisco devices. Like as a switches, L1 switch, L2 switch, manageable, non-manageable switch. What are the components that are contained by the Cisco router? Why it is important? Why we need to use the Cisco router? How many protocols? and how we can configure these protocols. So these all are the part that we are going to cover in upcoming classes because we just started our playlist. So in the starting of playlist, definitely you should know about the basic of networking. So let me let me help you to understand about some important components that I have. Uh, although I have already described it again, uh, described it before, but uh, let me give you the brief information about these devices and component. Like in the devices, we are able to find modem, access point, hub, switches, router, gateway, firewall, and checkpoints. These all are the devices that we are going to use in our network. In case of network components, so we'll also discuss about the network component, but let's start from the very basic of network devices. So first device is modem. I know guys like uh, if you just started your IT journey, so maybe you don't know about the use cases of modem or you are unable to find the device of uh, uh, modem because currently we don't have a separate device. We don't have a separate device for the modem because the, the, the router that we are using at home, the Wi-Fi router that we are using at home that contain the feature of modem. But if we talk about before 2015 or 2014, so you must need to connect your modem separately and modem must need to connect it with switches or must need to connect it with the wireless access point. But nowadays each and every access point contain the feature of modem and access point both. But you should know about the use cases why we need to use it. For example, this is our office premises or maybe home network and in home network you want to set up wireless network. Right, so this is considered as a Wi-Fi router, and you want to access one internet connection like this. This is Airtel, Airtel connection, or any kind of connections you want to purchase, and your connection is directly connected to the modem. And in most of cases, the modem device provided by ISP. Modem must be connected with the one network cable to the Wi-Fi router. And the, the, the telephone wire, right, telephone wire must need to connect with the modem first. And modem can transfer signal to the wireless connection, wireless device, and then wireless device responsible to execute the signal for all the wireless devices, all the devices that want to connect wireless through the Wi-Fi like this. Now, let's talk more about it, right. So basically the work of modem, as per the name suggests, the use cases of modem, it is responsible to convert the signal from digital to analog and analog to digital. Let me give you an example. This is the telephone wire, a telephone connection directly connected with modem, right? This is the modem. and modem is connected to the computer system like this. So it worked like as a mediator, you know very well about our computer know only about the digital signal and the wired connection always understand analog signal which is really difficult to understand each other. Digital unable to understand analog and analog unable to understand about the digital signal. So modem come into the picture, right? And it work like as a mediator, which is responsible to convert our signal to digital and vice versa, digital to analog. That's why we are able to access the internet. The modem feature is also available in our mobile phone that we are using because 
in the mobile phone we are also able to access the internet so each and every device who able to access the internet contain the feature of modem i hope you guys are able to understand about the concept of modem second important part let me help you to understand about access point or you can also say that wifi router right access point or wifi router suppose that this is our latest router or latest wifi router wifi router is directly connected with isp internet service provider it contain lots of feature yes the wifi router contain lots of feature that help us to provide communication between all the network devices like tablet like mobile phone like uh, laptop or desktop each and every devices smart tv you can directly connect to our wireless device or wireless access point so what exactly happen in case of access point which types of features contained by the access point so basically the wireless uh, the the access point contain multiple features like as uh, it contain dhcp pool a uh, wireless setting it give us a w lan setting it provide us a security ssid plus password information so these features are basically contained by this uh, device and without any cable without any wire we are able to transfer we are able to transfer the data between each other it is work as a mediator to provide communication between two different network devices right so as it is our responsibility as a ccn engineer we must need to know about the use cases of all the network devices i hope you guys are able to understand uh, the importance of uh, importance of uh, network devices so we'll cover each and every network devices one by one but i think uh, this is enough for today's session we'll connect uh, tomorrow and discuss more about the network important network devices for today thank you so much guys and do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel we'll connect soon and discuss more about the network devices and we'll complete the part of our ccna take care guys bye bye